Alongside the grapevines of Becker Vineyards in Fredericksburg are rows and rows of beautiful lavender, but this oh fragrant goodness. flower can do a lot more than make the room smell good. From cooking to gardening to drinking, this weekend's Lavender Festival is all is all about the incredible way you can incorporate this plant into your life. Chris Bernou is the lavender manager at Becker Vineyards and show us some of the basics of cooking with it and making everything smell so it wonderful. So good. good. Yeah. good. Yeah. good. Yeah. Power today. You know, like I had said when we were talking about this before the show, I thought it was just lavender soap and that Absolutely. was basically it. That's what he thought. And that is, that was always the hard <laughs> thing that a lot of people always thought, oh, lavender is only in soaps and potpourris and it's, mm. you know, you can't cook with it, you can't have it with other things. And so... And that's the whole reason you started the Lavender Festival. Absolutely. Right? So the Beckers um, have the winery near Stonewall and they had went on a trip to France and fell in love with the lavender and decided to come home and plant it. And so we've... Here we are. Lots. How many we years are. later? We're celebrating the 21st wow. Lavender and, Fest. And we've got just a slew of different things here with yes. lavender in them from soaps and lotions to yes. the food products. So starting over there... Um, on your end, what yes. do we have going on? I mean, we've got some potpourri, so it makes your house okay. smell good. Room sprays, um, this is really good to calm um, anybody's nerves and children, and it just makes very everything calming. smell nice. Yes. yes, lavender is very healing, calming, therapeutic lotions. And then we move on to different cheeses. So this is an herb cheese. It's a goat cheese with little herbs de Provence inside of the... Ooh, right there. Inside and, of it. And when you say herb Provence, that's uh, kind of a French combination of different It herbs, is. It right? is a blend of herbs. Um, tick Typically, it's got lavender and basil and rosemary. Um, you can put it on grilled foods, chicken. Mm. Um, it's, it's very nice even on Marcona almonds and a little olive oil. Mm. And top it in there to give you a little herbed, herbed almonds. And on chicken, it is wonderful. Yes. And food goes well with wine. And so it's a perfect combination. So that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> Jam here as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You can put that on biscuits or sweet and savory on cheesecake. So you can get a bag of this, and this Absolutely. is just Absolutely. So this lavender, is culinary right? lavender. Um, lavender is pretty strong and, and is very fragrant. Mm -hmm. So you want to use a little bit of lavender. There's different ways. You can either grind it up. You can use a coffee grinder. Mm -hmm. um, or just a mortar and pestle. Absolutely. And so I saw you did, you took it right from yes. here, and so then you put it in So basically, this is dried lavender, and you just want the florets off of it. So you can just kind of... Okay. Shake them off, and you would put them in your bowl. Now, and now once I would kind of grind this all up, what do I do with it then? Add it to? You, could, you can add it to any recipe. So if you're making, um, like, the, the panna cotta, or mm -hmm. if you're making a lemonade, you can seep it in warm water, make so a simple syrup. Oh, something okay. like this. You yes. can put the lavender right in there mm -hmm. and make a tea. And if you don't have time to make your own, there is a lot of simple syrups out there. But simple syrup is very... Mm -hmm. Easy to make. So okay. you might as well make your own. I found Get some, some lavender too. Up. If you grow your own lavender, you can just cut the lavender, um, hang it upside down, and let it dry. Oh. And you can also use the leaves a little bit, but mostly it's the florets that people want in cooking. And you were talking about when, obviously, you've got all your lavender fields out there. Yes. And one of the products that you have, too, is a lavender honey. And it's because the bees have actually mm -hmm. been their lavender. They the do. Lavender, so <laughs> it's not just flavored with lavender. It, it's lavender. Right, it's in the field. So the bee boxes are usually at the edge of the lavender fields, and that's where you get these amazing. This is really good on a manchego cheese or anything on a, a hard cheese. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. So Now, as far as cooking with it, we have some little Absolutely. Up so there, our which chef, is something that you can you get at the, at the lavender festival. At the lavender festival, yes. Our chef, Michael <laughs> Lockhart, that. created these. They are, it's a panna cotta. And typically, panna cottas are going to be a sweet dessert, but this one has more savory. So at the very bottom level, you have a sweet pea puree, Mm -hmm. Then it's a carrot ginger, and then on top is a little bit of lavender and cream. So the reason we're doing the art of food and wine at the winery is we want people to experience wines mm. with food. And then you want to go back and forth. Oh, wow. So you know you have a perfect blend when the food makes the wine taste good and the wine makes the food taste good. Speaking of wine. And this would go with yes. the wine? Yes. So this is our um, Signe. It has the lavender field uh, label. We uh, mm. do this process is mm -hmm. where you just leave the skins with limited skin contact. So as it's fermenting, um, we press them off to give it the nice light rosé color. This is perfect Texas wine. It's nice, it's crisp, it's chilled. So it's a dry rosé. Dry rosé, yes. And their rosés have been very popular for Becker Vineyard. So we actually create quite a few. We also have a field of poppies. Mm. So our Provençal has the poppy field, and we have Jolie, which just means beautiful because it's a beautiful wine. So, so many things. Yes. And you'll have about, what, 30 different vendors out there? We all do. Having this weekend this at the festival, mm -hmm. yes, we have um, vendors who have everything lavender, gardening, herb related. We also have the tours of the winery. We have um, the Art of Food and Wine Bites. We have four different food trucks that are going to be out and about. 
Perfect. Okay. All right. Information's on the screen there. Is this the little thing's delicious. The 20 yes, and you haven't even tried the sweet pea puree well, yet. Well, That's I'll, my I'll, favorite. I'll, okay. He's getting there. I'm down there. Mm. 21st Annual Lavender Festival at Becker Vineyards is happening this weekend in Fredericksburg. There will be vendors, as we mentioned, 30 different vendors. Parking is $5. For more information on Lavender Festival and Becker Vineyards, just go to essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Mike is loving this. Yes. <laughs> 